Hi, uh, this is Stan Yarach from New Jersey Electric Vehicle Association, and today is early January 2023, and I'm standing here with uh, 2017 Chevy Bolt EDS. This is the one that uh, was used uh, earlier in 2022 to test the impact of battery upgrade uh, with Tom Mulogany. Uh I love this vehicle. I'm the second owner and actually, um, we have in the family another 2017 Chevy Bolt. Uh, so we are all Bolt family. Uh, it's not because we are Chevy people, it just happened. Um, this was a uh, replacement for my Nissan Leaf when it was uh, uh, involved in a crash. So, um, but the reason I'm making this video today is because I want to make a modification on it. Yes, yes, I want to improve the thermal management to improve the winter driving experience and uh, so what do i do uh, the first thing i actually learned a lot from the youtube videos of professor john kelly from weber state university about uh, the thermal management uh, the vehicle has three independent coolant loops one for the cabin one for the powertrain and one for the battery um, and um, the heat that is produced by the powertrain is wasted. It goes just to the radiator. And so my goal is to modify the vehicle in such a way that I want to recover the heat from the powertrain and use it to warm up battery because, you know, the battery is actually very important to keep it healthy and, and warm because um, it gives you more range when it's warm and it charges faster, which is very important for this vehicle because Chevy Bolt doesn't charge particularly fast. On, under ideal conditions, it will charge 55 kilowatts between zero and 50% state of charge. But when it's cold, it can be 14, you know, so it can be pretty bad. Now, I have been driving about year and something with this device. This is OBD Bluetooth adapter, and I was monitoring temperature of the powertrain uh, using Torque Pro. And the vehicle has several uh, term temperature sensors. So I was looking into every component, the temperature. I was looking into the water pump, uh, the speed of it. I was looking into um, grill, whether it's uh, the, the opened the fins or not, right? So uh, lots of details, and I came up with very specific uh, proposal how to interconnect the two loops, uh, the powertrain cooling loop and the battery thermal management. So um, uh, let me know what you think about it. Um, and um, I'll uh, stay tuned for the next video about more technical details. Talk to you later. Thank you.